Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Noah Myrowitz from Sproutman.com and I'm here to demo for you the TriBest DynaPro Commercial Blender. This is a really fantastic new blender just released by TriBest ushering in a new era of blending, and that is vacuum blending. Now, when you blend normally, when you blend, for instance, a green apple, and you let it sit for a few hours, it oxidizes and, in turn, loses flavor, loses nutrients, and starts to look really bad. You can imagine what a green apple starts to look like after sitting out in the air. Even a non-blended one, it starts to turn brown. So right here, I'm going to be holding a picture in the video of two uh, smoothies of green apple that were made previously and we let them sit for both five hours and one of them was blended under vacuum and that was where we removed all the air from the blending chamber before blending and the second was just blended normally and as you can see the brown one was obviously the one that was blended normally while the one that looks fresh and green still was blended under vacuum so it's a really great way to increase the longevity of your food but also to increase the nutrient density or retain the nutrient density and retain that great flavor so i'm going to make two smoothies today to demo the dynapro the first is going to be a melon smoothie but blended normally and i'm not going to let it sit because i don't think that you have a couple of hours or even 30 minutes to watch it degrade over time. But what I'm going to show you is the difference in texture between something blended under vacuum and something blended normally. So this is the 64 ounce blending container that comes with the DynaPro. It's BPA free and made out of heavy duty material, not going to break under the powerful two and a half horsepower motor and uh, I believe 28,000 RPM, but I'll verify that, that this spins at. So. Push the lid on. And one thing that's also really neat here, you may not be able to see, but under the DynaPro is the star, and that's part of the logo. But that's also printed in thermochromatic ink. And so what happens is if this if the contents of the chamber go above 118 degrees, which is the raw temperature, that will change to white from blue. So you can be sure when you're blending that you're not heating the food in excess if you want to stay raw. So there's multiple modes in this blender, and we can blend or pulse or combo or go manual. And I like to use manual and keep it as low as possible, especially if I'm not blending under vacuum. I don't want to spin so fast that it will uh, increase the oxidation of the food. Ah, I forgot to mention, it comes with a spoon too, so we can help stir it. So this is pretty interesting. You can immediately see that this was not blended under vacuum. And you'll be able to tell because uh, I'm going to blend one under vacuum after. But it's much whiter because it's significantly more oxygenated. So maybe hard to see there. So I'll put the extra in here. And then we'll get started on the next one. OK, so for the second one, I've just rinsed the blending chamber here. And this one is going to be blended under vacuum. So we put the contents in the container. And now, to get the full uh, effect, we have to suck the air out of the chamber. So we use this pump that's included. It goes on to the top of the lid. And then we press it. And it takes about 30 seconds. But I just like to do it until I can really hear the sound of the pump that it's struggling to get any air out. And then I might shake it up even more. And then I keep going. So really until the pump stops, but 30 seconds should suffice to. So interestingly, you can see the lid that helps to create the suction is moving up and down as we're pulling the air out. Because what's happening is as the pump is sucking the air, it's coming up to release the air. But every time uh, it, it stops pulling air out, it drops down to retain the suction and the seal. OK, so I'm going to just shake it up a little bit more. Who knows if that actually does anything, but. So I can hear the pump is really struggling now. So uh, I'd say that this 
is good enough. Now, same technique. And that's all. So, oh. so one thing that I'm going to show you before I take the lid off is how much air we're going to release from the chamber. So I'm not sure if the camera caught that. But what we just had was basically the blender exhaling and uh, all the air is coming out. So the only thing about this is sometimes the suction and the seal is so great it can actually be tricky to get the lid off. Wow. So there's a noticeable difference in color here. I hope the camera will be able to pick it up. Let's see. I'm going to actually walk around towards the camera here. So this was blended normally. And you can see that's a pretty white. Uh, a white looking smoothie. And here was the one blended under vacuum. So that's a noticeable color difference. I'll take a picture of this and include it right here in this video. But, uh, and the reason because of this is because air was blended in here. No air was blended here. It was just purely the puree of the fruit. So I've just finished blending the two melon smoothies, one under vacuum, one not. And I wanted to do a taste comparison. Uh, one thing I would like to note before doing that is this was the one that was blended um, without vacuum. And you can almost see at the bottom there, actually you can totally see the separation between the liquid and the fiber. I have a picture of that to put in here too. But anyway, uh, texture is also substantially different. The non-vacuum blended smoothie is uh, thicker and not quite as smooth or finely blended. And the consistency, well, it's much more consistent than the one that was blended under vacuum. So a taste test, non-vacuum. It's very creamy. It's delicious, but it's very creamy. It's also filled with air bubbles. And the vacuum blended version, not many air bubbles to be seen. It's richer in flavor. They're both delicious, but I happen to enjoy the consistency of the vacuum blended version much more. So I think that concludes today's demo of the DynaPro. Uh, it's available on Sproutman.com, of course. Uh, retails for $599. I believe it comes with a 15-year home use warranty and a shorter warranty for commercial use. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. If you have any questions, you can also write us at service at sproutman.com or visit us at www.sproutman.com. Thanks. <laughs>